It is another wonderfully beautiful day in Zomboid. I have loaded up the game. Here we are in Felipe. We're in the mall. I paused the game uh, just to give the game a chance to load because there's a lot of things to load in and we've got an awful, awful lot of mods loaded in. So here we are. We are injured. Four injuries. Uh, one of them might be healed by now, probably the left upper arm, but I'm just going to leave it on for now. Um, and I notice that uh, I'm queasy. So that's a, that there's a problem. Um, we are queasy. So that's a dang mass. The mass mod is not working. Oh, I'm going to miss two, three times. The mass mod is just not working. Oh, that is, that is frustrating. Um, and I just keep forgetting to do something about it. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to use my big brain, my big boy brain, a big boy brain that I was granted to use and think about things. Um, I am going to cut the video and I'm going to go take a gander at this freaking mass mod because it has been bothering me for so god dang long. Yeah. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. And just like that, God reached his hand down into the digital world of Felipe, plucked a string, removed a mod, and uh, hopefully it's working now. We'll find out. We'll find out. So I'm actually outside, which is uh, not going to work for me. I need to be inside to check out this work. So uh, I just um, I just disabled the susceptible mod, honestly. I, I don't think it's susceptible. There's probably another mod doing it. Um, something funky going on. I don't think it's susceptible because I've played with susceptible and working mass, and both of them have worked. So I am back inside here. I am with the zombie corpses. Um, this is where I want to be because this is what's going to give me sickness. Now, um, actually, does... Da, 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 is this... I don't remember if the display bar has a sickness. Uh, calories, boredom, fatigue, endurance, thirst, hunger. No, I guess it doesn't. Uh, there's another, there's another mod that does. Um, I just like this one. I like this one because I can make them big. I can move them around. Uh, and playing on 4k is an issue for me. Uh, a lot of the mods do not let me, uh, make things larger or wider or any any number of things, honestly. Madam. Madam. Um, I don't think we've gone this particular direction. I've gone south through here. But I haven't gone over to what I believe is the Spiffos. I think that's what's over here. I'm keeping an eye on my Moodles. Trying to see if the old uh, queasy state is going to pop back up. But I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it, man. I'm not seeing it. All right, so here we are. Here we are, we're pulling. We're pulling zombies. We're getting right into it. Weezing this be damned. We are right back into the action. One slash. That's all it takes. One slash. Trying to pay attention if anybody is behind me, but I'm not seeing anybody behind me. Alright, moving forward. All done, all cleared. Yeah, it looks like that is, in fact, a... Okay, we are now queasy, so removing susceptible did not, in fact, fix fix the issue. Guess mask. So the only other thing that is modifying it is the Authentic Z backpack mod. Uh, I don't have... The, which could just be a load order. Uh, I, that could just be a load order issue. Maybe... Um, uh, Maybe uh, working mass needs to be after Authentic Z. Um, I'm not running the full Authentic Z experience, <laughs> per se. Uh, I am running the backpack version. Uh, in the past, I've had issues with zombies duplicating themselves. Uh, same zombie over and 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 over and, over and, over and zombies sort of appearing out of thin air. Um, I was never able to fully identify exactly which mod was causing it, but... Uh, if you were a betting man, I'd put your money on Authentic Z. 
Well, since we are sick, that is going to limit... Uh, I'm certainly not going to remove um, <laughs> uh, the backpack mod because I am I'm using all this stuff. I could. There's no reason for me to be carrying all this junk around. I could do that. But the thing that I really like is the, the flashlight. Not having the flashlight will annoy me greatly to no end. Um, for now, I think I've narrowed it down what the issue is and for now I'm going to uh, just oh my house is vibrating interesting I'm just gonna uh, we're just gonna keep narrowing it down until we figure out what it is and then go from there um, I could just google it too to see if anyone else has an issue hey 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 excuse me excuse me get away from my car now who who in the hell do you think you are? What is this? You can't just be coming up on a guy's vehicle like that. Oh my god, these people are so rude. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Unequip. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Oh, I hate when things don't work. I'm so half tempted to just go and bust with it right now, but I really don't want to. Okay, so we have uh, cleaned ourselves up, had a bath. Um, pretend that I'm using the shower. Um, I can't actually use the shower, but I did install a shower. So pretend that when I come in here and wash myself, I'm actually using that shower. I guess I could come in here and just use the toilet. And then, um, then it would look like, right, like... See, now it looks like I'm washing myself in the shower. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do, well, if I remember, we'll try to do that from now on. So we got all this stuff done, done and done. Um, I need to just kill time for the day because freaking sickness, man. It's rough. It's rough. It's certainly rough. Um, yeah, so I'm going to skip over this part and uh, we'll see. We'll see where we are tomorrow. All right, we are back. It is a new day. Um, I, I had to use a lot of sleeping pills. I'll be honest with you. It was kind of rough. Um, not, not coming back late at night is, is, is frustrating. So, um, I spent a little bit of time, uh, fussing with mods to, to try to figure out if I could figure this thing out. Um, so we'll see if uh, it actually works this time. We'll see. I got my gas mask back on. Um, I'm going to go directly to the mall and we're going to... Sir, excuse me, you guys follow me back to my house? Very rude of you. I'm gonna go back to the mall. I'm going to obliterate some, mombi some, some mombies, some zombies while standing on top of a bunch of their dead brethren. And we're gonna see if, uh, we're gonna see if this thing actually worked or not. Um, or I'll just keep working at it, or I'll just uh, give up on it, one of the two. Cause, uh, oops, that was weird. It was super weird. How did that come up with me clicking in the middle? Huh. Um, anyhow, uh, it's because uh, I am both uh, super... Imp I I'm very impatient, so um, if it don't work after fussing with it a few times, I'm done and out. See ya. Okay, flashlight's on. We're in here. So we're going to spend a lot of time killing zombies, hopefully killing them on top of other zombies. This way... Um, we can see if we get sick or not. Da, 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 da. Freaking zombies going all the way. He's going, our boy here is going all the way around. Madam, she's got a hand fork and stuck inside of her. Good weapon, good weapon. Love me some hand fork action. As a prized weapon, um, very common too, even on uh, vanilla settings. So it's a good back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, look at that. She thought she'd been sneaky. She thought she'd been sneaky with that attack. I hate that attack, by the way. I don't know if I've ever talked about that, but that little animation where the zombies lunge at you after they go over a fence, I hate it with a burning passion. I hate it probably more than I hate zombies being able to infect you with a scratch. Um, and that, that's just strictly a player choice. I realize uh, I don't like 
I like the traditional zombies that deal in bites and that's it. I don't like the scratch lacerate thing. Plus it takes away from first aid in the game. It's just all around a frustrating experience. And on that note, uh, I also hate the lunge animation. These zombies aren't suddenly like Usain Bolt when they go over a fence. I mean, they don't, even, they just flop over a fence and suddenly they're like, hey, hey, get over here. And of course, it's it feels like every time they do flop, it's like it's like I've never I, I don't recall ever like coming out of it unscathed. I'm always damaged, which is just oh, just frustrating all around. There is a lot of seating in this freaking mall. This spiffles was popping, man. I don't even when was the last time you've been inside of a uh like a McDonald's, because that's what the Spiffles is, is a McDonald's, right? I don't know if that's ever been kind of confirmed or not, whether it was a McDonald's or like a Burger King or something, but a traditional sort of American fast food restaurant. Um, I think of McDonald's. Um, and when was the last time you've ever been inside of one since uh, the pandemic and all of that happened? I don't even know if like... I don't even know if the one that I, is near me even like has people that ever go inside. I feel like everybody's always just using the drive through, you know, because it's kind of it's kind of crazy. These these things are going to turn into little like three by three shells It's going to be a freezer, a cooler and then a drive through and like a stove. And that's all it's going to be anymore. No more. No more interior. What I do see is instead of people sitting inside, I see a lot of people and I've done it before because I don't want to sit inside. I'll go through the drive through and then I'll just sit in the parking lot in my car. Just eat it there. I have no desire to go inside the building, inside that nasty, greasy building. I'm already eating all this crap, you know, like, ugh, ugh. Um, that's a pretty good plushie. I feel like I should wear that plushie. He's pretty cute. He's he's kind of cute. His name is even Marshmallow. OK, we've been in here. Um, I actually think we may. Here I am trying to test whether we're going to get queasy or not. And actually, OK, we're not. I was going to say, I think we're kind of getting close to. Uh... Sir, sir, where are you going? I'm over here. Jeez. I was going to say, I think we're getting close to clearing the dang mall out. But then I found all these. All these lovely boys and girls hanging out here, looking for autographs, wanting Felipe's signature and blood. So again, we are. It's kind of frustrating because we're fighting so far away from our oodles of bodies there. But look at that boy doing that launch. I hate that so much. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I know you can turn it off, but um, unlike multi hit, disabling the lunge just feels so so rough um so cheesy because it, when that babe when that bad boy is disabled uh there is nothing stopping me from just pummeling zombies that fall over a fence legitimate strategy mind you but still i mean if i was going to be fighting zombies i'd make them trip over a low wire why not right like heck run a run a uh, a thick wire low to the ground have these zombies just fall over and you just pick them off Easy defense. Easy defense. Is that a machete? What is that in that lady? No, it's a it's a bread knife. <laughs> uh, oh, it's working now. Wasn't working last time I recorded. Okay. Um, what I could do is go stand on the bodies and just speed up time too. But that is such a waste of time. We are here. We are here to butcher zombies. Spin, spin and swing, spin and swing. That is a patented Felipe move. Just kind of do circles. S just swinging out with your uh, machete. Do some, do some old anime moves. Works in, works in my TV shows. Why can't it work in my, my zomboid? We are exhausted. Um. We're probably fine to be fighting while exhausted, honestly. Oh, she should have swung instead of doing that.
I would like to find a seat that is near zombies so that when I am uh, resting, I want to be on top of corpses is what I want to do here. No. Is there a seat on the other side of this here? Um, no, but what I can do is come over here and kind of like sit on my butt. To, I really don't want to sit on my butt because that's just that's just asking for trouble. Oh boy, sitting down with all these freaking zombies. Yeah, that's just asking for it. I'm gonna just use this chair right here, next to these corpses. It's an okay amount. We'll just use this. Get her stamina back a little bit. Oh, flashlight's out. Madam, I am busy. I'm on break. Christ, give me a minute, lady. I am on break. Absolutely rude. And it looks like I also didn't fill my bottle. <laughs> Go figure. Um, do I have? I do. How many more batteries do I have? That was our last battery. We no longer have batteries. Okay. So I, I am actually half tempted to stand here and just speed up time to see if uh, we can breathe in any noxious fumes or not, you know, really, really see if it, we can get sick. Because it's a new day, so I don't know. You know, I'm not sure if uh, this is fixed or if it's just because I have it's a new day and I've, I'm no longer sick or, you know, any number of uh, any strange things could happen. I'm not going to stay here forever because we're getting bored. But I want to sit here a good while to get the sickness because I believe the sickness meter, I don't normally have one because it is so often not required, but I believe the sickness meter is a meter and it builds. So I have killed two, three hours standing on top of these corpses. So I'm going to go now and back to fighting. So my meter should be filled or filling if it is no longer working. So um, if I'm better going back to killing, killing our boys here in the mall, um, we'll see the queasy status pop up, but if not, then uh, we can say that perhaps we have uh, fixed fixed something within Zomboid, which is uh, something to be proud of, if I'm honest, because Zomboid is something else. Madam, I hear some munching. Cannibalism, not allowed. It's weird that they let the zombies eat other zombies. I, I find that strange, um, because they don't do it. They don't do it often. They just kind of sometimes do it. And I feel like if if they were to do it, would the zombies not constantly be eating zombies? Like everywhere there are, there'd be zombies. And wouldn't they every zombie you ever see would constantly be just chilling, eating other zombies? Wouldn't that be how it would end up? Wouldn't that be the situation? Come to me. Come to Felipe. I must. Oop, oop, oop. I panicked. I thought some. Oh, someone was behind me. I was going to say I panicked because I thought someone was behind me, but they were behind me. I sort of know what I'm doing. Sometimes, every once in a while, you know, you get. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. What's going on down here? We got. You fellows, a few ladies. Good night, good night. Good night, sweet prince. Hello. You mind coming out of there, ma'am? Oops. Okay. Madam? I am uh, borderline level two hungry, which means I will lose strength. So 
Um, I kind of want to bust out an MRE, and I want to do this while I am on top of corpses. So somewhere over here. Um, I brought one of these uh, so that I would have something to eat. And this is a lot of calories. This is very calorie dense. Heat MRE. Okay. Now I need pork. Oh, pork and rice. That's not too bad. I'm sure it tastes like spam or something. Oh, what do we? That's a big old bag. Just chill on top of these bodies. Boom. Calories galore. Um, it also fills my inventory with a bunch of really annoying things like uh, a toothpick. And I want to say a spork. I want to say it gives me a spork. But I'm not seeing it. I'm not going to bother looking at the moment either. So what do you think I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to shout because I'm currently uh, full stamina and we're good on food. I'm going to shout a few times. I also need, I need these boys. I need you guys to pile up, man. Get over here so that I have a pile of bodies to fight on top of. Otherwise, am I going to know if this stupid thing's working or not? No? Yes. Come to Felipe. Come to Felipe. Oh, I missed. I missed my swing. No one saw that. It's funny. I always think it's strange how in this game, one missed swing puts you so far behind in such a bad position when you're dealing with like a, a group of zombies sort of meandering towards you, you know? Uh, it's just, just one missed swing. That's all it takes. Granted, I mean, the whole game is sort of based around that sort of, uh, air quotes, hardcore. I wouldn't call it a hardcore game, but that's sort of, uh, hardcore in the terms of, like, uh, um, other video games where, like, uh, if you die, you restart. That version of hardcore. Sort of an Iron Man kind of thing. Because, uh, if you get bit, it's over. There's no cure. Granted, there's mods and stuff to fix that stuff, but you kind of know what I'm getting at. I kind of don't want to get my hopes up, but I haven't seen the queasy status pop up. I've been fighting like crazy. We've been real hot. But it could just be because I am... Uh, oh, there it is. See, that's why I didn't want to get my hopes up. There's the queasy status. It went and popped up. Man. That really sucks. So my working mass mod is obviously broken. I have removed. Um, I have removed. Uh, I removed susceptible. There's that black wall I was talking about. I ran across this wall. I can't walk through it, I believe, when I first came in here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa. There's an awful lot of you in here. What's going on? Um, I really don't want to fight these guys because our character is queasy at the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you guys hanging out? We're going to uh, just make our way out of here. But yeah, I've I so I've deleted the susceptible mod. Oh, of, oh my goodness. Where are all these zombies coming from? Hello? Hello? Where did you guys all come from? Where have you been hanging out? Oh, here's another pack of them. I come in this entrance all the time and there's never anyone here. And now suddenly there's two like uh, fairly chunky uh Groups of zombies just hanging out, vibing in the parking lot. Like, what in the world? A good time for our spear action. Our um, current machete is in bad shape. It's like a sub 10%, I think. Okay, let's back up just a little bit here. 
Back up a little bit more. I don't like it when they get uh, more than too wide. It makes me nervous. It makes me nervous. I don't like being nervous. Okay, okay. Oop, did I pull another group? Or is it just a couple? There's one more. No? Okay. I also thought I saw machete in here. No. It was a hunting knife. Okay. All right. So I deleted the susceptible mod. It is no longer loaded into this game. So I no longer have the ability to insert filters onto this bad boy. But I do still have the backpack mod. And the backpack mod is modifying... Uh, gas mask because it's making them attachable and it may not be playing nice with uh, this working mask mod. So what I did was is I, I altered the load order so that uh, the working mask mod was after the backpack mod. That way it was modifying it uh, after it's loaded and that didn't seem to work because we're still sick. Um, the other the other option too. Um, is it is it under here? The other option too is um, that it is not. It was changed at some point because the last time I used this working mess mod, it was a hundred percent immunity to corpse sickness, and they the they may have changed that because I don't always pay that close attention to. Uh, I don't always pay that close attention to mods when they're updated because there's just so many mods and they're updated so often. I just I just can't. There's just no way I would have to check that bad boy just daily. You know, there's just there's no friggin way. Um, anyhow, we've got the new uh, Axotl uh, little guy here. I know I, he's kind of cute. I like him. Um, the working mass mod is still not working. Um, next thing that I think it may be is the backpack. Um, hopefully I'm trying to think when I used this in my insurgent series is the last time I used it and it worked. And in the insurgent series, I didn't have authentic Z on because it didn't, I want to say it didn't work with the backpack. I want to say it didn't work in the backpack. You know, this is also the attachable. This is also the attachable. A, let me let me let me bounce out of the game. Let me bounce out. Let's let's do some. Let's do a little bit of testing here. I know this isn't necessarily gameplay, but let's do let's do just a smidge of testing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump out of the game, and I'm going to uh, open up the mods for uh, this this series here so we are going to choose mods now um what i want is the cheat cheat menu so enable this so this this is going to load the cheat menu into my game so when i load in and i think i think it's right click or maybe it's through the escape menu i don't remember where it is but it's one of those menus There'll be the ability to spawn in items. And I want to see if there are, I want to see if there's a vanilla version of the gas mask still in the game that hasn't been modified by um, the authentic Z backpack mod. And I want to spawn that gas mask in, give it to myself, and we'll try that in the next video to see if that worked. Uh, maybe, we'll see. Load faster. Okay, I'm in the game. Um, but I, oh, here, cheat menu. Nope. I, okay, how do you, is it right click? Here it is, it is right click. Okay, we want item spawner. Let's type in gas mask. Okay, check this out, there's two of them. 
This may be one gas mask I added one gas. Okay, I added one of each. So let's let's open up our inventory here. Scroll down. Oh, check it out. Check it out. There is another mod modifying it. Essential crafting. I didn't know essential crafting was modifying the gas mask. Is that my issue? So this this version is from Essential Crafting and this version is from Authentic Z. I am using the version from Authentic Z and it's not working. So what I think I'll do is maybe try to use this because this is not, look at this, this is not usable by, uh, you have to make it attachable. I'm thinking, I wanna, I'm, I'm thinking that that might actually be the issue. I'm thinking that might actually be the issue. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to disable that cheat mini mod, and uh, I'll take a look in the next episode. We'll see if uh, we could queasy this time. Uh, either way, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for watching me muddle my way through these things. But um, yeah, I don't uh, I don't have anyone to tell me what is or is not wrong. So I've got to figure it out on my own. I try going to the Steam page, but it doesn't say anything about anything. Mostly just people arguing with each other, so you know how it is. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.